always feel something for you. It doesn't just go away. But we've both moved on. So okay, we should actually we should forget we ever had this conversation. Yeah. Because it can't go anywhere. No, it can't. So what's the point? Yeah, what's the point? search for everyone. Did they find my sister? Yes. Yes, she's okay. Brody found her. Thank God. Parents are very worried about you, though, considering the state of your car. How'd you get here? I walked. I'm gonna head home. I'll tell your parents where you are, okay, Natalie? Hey. You know, do you have any idea what you put me through? Seeing you shot in the courtroom? Then, then driving off and telling me that I should stay because I'd be, be more helpful where I was while you, you while she's your driver? I didn't know that. I, I was arrested for aiding and abetting your escape. My son had to bail me out of jail. I'm sorry. You should be. Give me a chance to explain. I'm sorry you were arrested. That wasn't the plan, believe me. I thought you'd be long gone before the I was got defending there. you. I appreciate that. I'll fix everything when I get back. I was sitting in a cell worried to death about you. Listen to guards talk about a car chase and find out that your car got into a ravine and exploded? When I saw the wreckage, I thought you were dead. So when I saw the smoke, I was almost... I was almost, almost a little too afraid to hope, you know? So I walked one mile in the snow. To find you cozying up here like a, with your other girlfriend making out. Look, it's not what it looked like. I mean, it, it really wasn't. I know how you must have felt walking in, but it's not what you think. Ellie, it's okay. No, no, it isn't. Marty, look, John didn't even know that I was driving the car, and when he found out, he was furious. It's just by then it was too late, the cops were on our tail, and then next thing you know, the car went off the road, and it was a miracle that we all survived. I was pinned underneath the steering wheel. I couldn't move. So Brody got out, he, he went to go get help for Jessica, and then John literally had to cut me out of the vehicle, and then the engine started sparking, and there was a gas leak, and I don't know how he did it, but he, he pulled me out right before it blew. And then he carried me all the way here because I was unconscious. And then, when he got here, he started a fire because it was freezing. He was trying to keep me awake because I had a concussion and I was delirious. And I thought he was Jared, that he'd come back to me and, or, or I died. I, I didn't, I didn't care. I just, I was, I was so happy to see him. And then I, I kissed him. It's my fault. Marty, please don't be mad at John. Well, while that may be true, Come on, I think we all know what's been going on here for a while now. Let's not pretend we don't. Cassie, don't make this a bigger deal than what it is. I'm, I'm sorry if I upset you, but... John's with you. And he's made that very clear. Have you? Yes. Rita, I should probably get going, right? Ah! Mm. Hurt your leg? Yeah, I think she hurt some when we crashed. Oh, ah. Take a look. I think you've got an underlying sprain. It's not broken? No, I don't think so, but we need to get to the doctor. Okay. Hi, uh, my car's about a mile down the road. We can make it, all right? I'm gonna help you up. You lean on me, all right? All right. You know, you can't put any weight on it. Here, give me your other arm. Okay. Hold up the fire. It'll burn out. 